18, think and solve. So number 35, ideal efficiency. I know I didn't talk about this in class. Uh, it is just a matter of plug and chug into the formula. Uh, so the formula is just a little bit above that. So ideal efficiency is the difference in temperature between hot and cold divided by temperature of the hot. Uh, so the deal on this one is you need to make sure that you're dealing in an absolute scale. So Kelvin, or for those classic people, Rankin. Now, since it's degrees Celsius, uh, you add 273.15 to get Kelvin, uh, the Kelvin temperature. And so even the difference in temperature of the numerator is still going to be 280 Kelvin, uh, because when you're talking about change, the difference in one degree Celsius is the same as the difference in one Kelvin. Uh, however, the denominator is the key thing. The denominator, the hot temperature, yes, it's 600 degrees Celsius, but on a Kelvin scale, it's that plus 273.15. Uh, so 873.15, so it'll be 280 over the number I just told you, and it comes out to about 32%. On 37, the friend, again, your friend, um, at least it gives a chance for you to educate someone, uh, says it should be twice as cold. So again, what does exactly does that mean? Uh, first off, your friend's crazy. Uh, why on earth would you want it to be colder than 10 degrees Celsius? Uh, matter of fact, why would you want it to be colder than 20 degrees Celsius? And but she would wish it would be twice as cold. So what Hewitt's going for here is on the Kelvin scale. So 10 degrees Celsius is 293 degree 293 Kelvin. Uh, cut that in half and then subtract 273, uh, and you get to about 131.5 ish. Uh, so I think he dropped off the 0.15 from the conversion. So that's where that number is coming from. And again, it's going to the absolute scale, cutting it in half, and then going back into the Celsius scale. Uh, yeah. And that's it for the Think and Solve.